Hey folks, Big Drew here. I just had to run to the post office and uh, send a parcel off to the Great White North. And this is a little handful of change I got from there. But that's not why I'm posting. I went to the Coin Star and, and uh, exchanged all my loose change that I've been collecting for the last month or two, uh, going through coin, uh, you know, these piles of coins that I've been finding. And believe it or not, I had $85 worth of coins. I think that's a record for me. So while I was there, I went ahead and got a roll of quarters and a roll of pennies. Um, I still have a few state quarters I'm looking for, and I'm sure some of you know that I love collecting the Canadian pennies. I don't know why. Went to the Olympics in 76, maybe that's why. The Olympics in 76 were in Canada. For those of you who don't know. Um, so I'll go through these coins and I'll let you know what I find. Be right back. Okay, here are the pennies. I already went through the quarters, um, but I'm going to make you wait until I go through the pennies to discover what I didn't find. Okay, give me a minute. I'll go through these. Okay, folks, this is Drew. Got everything sorted out here. Look at this. 1965 quarter. Missed it by that much, huh? Okay, you know, got some regular quarters here. Um, some seven, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And then I got some state quarters. I was looking for those. Of course, I got skunked and didn't find any of the ones I still needed. There's the Michigan. Saying hello to Paul and Ben. And I uh, got a little bit of spare change from the post office. And of course, nothing good. And then over here is a roll of pennies that I got when I was uh, cashing in the change from the coin star machine. You know, nothing, nothing good there. Just a bunch of uh, Denver mint marks. Nothing, nothing good. Um, got a few shield pennies. I'm, you know, I'm holding on to those. I don't, I'm not sure why. Um, so I was pretty discouraged. Didn't really find anything good until I found this. Look at that, 1930 wheat penny. And it's in pretty good shape. The outside's a little crusty, but hey, I'm happy with that. You know, went through all this change and found another wheat penny. All right. I'd like to say hello to my friend Louie. Thank him again for the coins that I got from him. The uh, Mexican centavos and the Australian half penny. Those are awesome coins, and they're going to be in a special place in my collection. All right, everybody have a great day, and I'll let you know what I get next time. Hopefully some more wheat pennies. All right, folks. Bye-bye now.